Hey guys! Welcome back to another episode of Our Journal Thursday, where we get creative every single Thursday here on this channel. And today I will show you how to paint this firework skyline with watercolors in a super easy way. You won't believe how easy it is. But I'm also having a giveaway for you guys with the help of the lovely people from the Amino apps that is sponsoring today's episode. You probably already have heard about them before and I mentioned their apps in some of my other videos already, but the Amino app is basically a free app for Android and iOS where you can find a community of like-minded people that share the same passion as you. For example, arts and crafts, cosplay, K-pop and things like that. And you can interact with other people through chats, exchange ideas, post your own things and also find inspiration and just have a close community of people that enjoy the same things as you do. I'm part of a few Amino communities as you can see here, especially of the Art Amino group where we'll also hold the giveaway for you guys. So keep on watching if you want to learn how to enter this giveaway. I would love for you guys to join me in the Art Amino app and follow me there so we can interact there as well. You can find me there under the username Makuchino, but I will also have a link in the description box down below. So be sure to check it out. I really love how interactive this app is, so I hope to see you there. And for now, let's move on to the tutorial. You will probably think through half of the video, what is she doing? But as you will see later, everything will make sense. The first thing we want to do is creating different colored circles in different sizes using watercolors. These are going to be the main colors of our fireworks. So you can get really creative with it. For my painting, I use a reference picture that you can see here, but I will also add it into the description box for you guys if you would like to use it as well. Don't think too much about what design you want to create. Just have fun adding weird looking blobs of colors one by one. Just imagine where you want the fireworks to be and create a circle for that. I also mix some colors together or added small details like this ring in the blue circle. Or I made two different colors run into each other with the wet on wet technique. While this is drying, we can move on to the bottom part. Here we can paint the water where we can add a beautiful water reflection of the fireworks. Here I simply added some blue and purple paint to create a square like that. And then with the tissue paper, I lifted some of the paint to make it lighter again. Now we can add some of the colors we use for the sky and make them look like they reflect on the water in a straight line. Here again, don't worry about making it look super neat. As you can see, most of the times the paints run into each other, but that's okay. Just don't use too much water or everything will run into each other and create a mess. You can always remove some water with a tissue paper from time to time if you notice that you used definitely too much of it. Once the paint has dried, we can finally use the magic tool that will turn these blobs into realistic looking fireworks. And that's a white crayon. That's it. If you don't have a crayon, you can also use a white candle, works just fine. And with that, you want to start drawing lines starting from the center, moving outwards, recreating the firework explosion and its movement. These lines won't be that visible, so it's important to carefully look at where you are adding the lines. The purpose of this crayon is that it will create a watercolor resist, meaning the crayon will repel the watercolor away from it and the area will keep its color. You can always use a reference to get an idea of the directions the lines are moving. I learned this trick from an artist here on YouTube called Shibasaki. I will have a link to his channel in the description box down below. He has awesome watercolor painting tutorials so you should definitely check him out and tell him I said hello. The important part is that you use the sharp edge of the crayon or candle to create lines as thinly as possible. And don't overdo it with drawing the lines you still want to have lines in between that are free from any crayon. I also use some of the crayon on the water to cover some areas, but this is optional. Now all we have to do is adding a nice dark layer of watercolor paint all over the painting except the lower part where the water is. Here I mix different shades together such as dark blue, red and black. I also added a few more lines to the water using a darker shade of blue and the other colors I used earlier such as red, yellow, just to intensify the colors. 
On the reference picture, there was also this dark path that I want to paint. This is optional, but I think it gives the whole painting a little bit more depth. And from here, you just want to intensify the dark shade and really work the paint into every bit of paper that is not covered with the crayon. I also removed some of the paint around the lower part of the fireworks just to keep it slightly lighter as this part will get more light. And when everything is dry, you can add even more details. You can use for example a white ink pen or white acrylic paint and add more white lines or dots to the fireworks. I also used some watercolor pencils to create a few more colorful lines but this is optional. The important part is not to think too much and to just have fun while getting familiar with this technique. For example, you can use the colored pencils to create the lights at the edge of the river or you can use the white pen to create a few lines that resemble a skyline with different buildings and the lights inside the windows. But I also used the pen to create some more water reflections by just simply going over the paint in a straight line very lightly. And this is how it looks so far. In the original reference, the water reflections were simply straight, but I wanted to add some darker horizontal water reflections to make the water look more realistic, as I wasn't completely happy with the way it looked here. For this step, I simply used some black watercolor paint and created some horizontal lines like that. Just a few lines next to each other and a few above. You just want to create a few darker areas while the lighter areas look through them. And from here you can just go over your painting again and see if you want to add a few more things or change something. And the painting is finished. How do you like it? I love the New Year's Eve time and its fireworks because you can reflect on the whole year, what you learn, what you want to achieve the next year while officially saying bye to the old year and hello to the new year. Alright, now you probably want to know how to enter this giveaway and what you can win. This giveaway is international and you can enter it by following me in the Amino app and by posting your favorite painting of 2017 using the hashtag proudofthis. The winner will get a kit of my favorite watercolor or acrylic paint supplies. You can decide when you get chosen. For more details about this giveaway, check out the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for all the support. I wish you a great start into the new year. Have a wonderful day and I will see you in 2018. Bye!